one robust g700 When the insane 536 horsepower G63 AMG just isn't enough, there's the Brobus G700. Founded in 1977, Brobus is one of the largest tuning companies in the world. It sold its first car in the UAE in 1979 high from the year the Mercedes Plus debuted. In 2013, Dubai's finest took ownership of one of the 690 horsepower super trucks. Of the Dubai supercar fleet, the G700 is the best suited to take things off-road. But it's doubtful the $230,000 truck sees much desert action. 2. Audi R8 V10 The V10-powered R8 has been one of the best cars in the world since it debuted back in 2008. And the Dubai police like it so much they bought two. With its 525 horsepower mid-mounted engine borrowed from the Lamborghini Gallardo. The R8 can move from 0 to 60 in under 4 seconds. The Audi's reputation as one of the few reliable supercars on the planet should come in handy. When some of Dubai's more temperamental cars wind up in the shop. McLaren MP412C The McLaren MP412C was the company's first road car since the legendary 19,921,998 F1. This next generation McLaren isn't like the world's fastest production car like its predecessor. But its 604 horsepower V8 and top speed of over 200 miles per hour make sure that it is no trouble keeping up with traffic. The Dubai police added one of the British supercars to its fleet in December 2013. Four. Nissan GTR. With a base price of around $100,000. The GTR is a bargain compared to some of the other cars in the Dubai fleet. The venerable GTR has a hand-buelled twin-turbo V6 putting out 545 horsepower. And the top speed of 196 miles per hour, making it one of the quickest cars in the fleet. The Dubai police bought its GTR in the same 2013 shopping spree where they took home the Brabus. One of the Audi R8S, and a Mercedes AMG S63. 5. Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG Gullwing doors aren't usually thought of as an essential feature on police cars. But the Dubai police's use of the SLS AMG might make other departments reconsider. But trick doors aren't the big Mercedes only party trick. With a 6.3 litre, 539 horsepower V8, taking the car from 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds. The SLS AMG is one of the most non-nonsense supercars in the world. 6. Bugatti Veyron The Veyron is one of the most recognizable cars in the world. And it's unquestionably the top dog in the Dubai fleet. The Bugatti spent years as the fastest and most expensive production car in the world. And in 2014, Dubai's finest thought it was a good $1.6 million addition to the fleet. Bugatti has since stopped building the Veyron, but with a top speed of 247 miles per hour. There isn't much on the plan as it can't outrun. 
7. Aston Martin 177. Aston Martin has long been famous for building some of the best Grand Tourers in the world. But the 177 is a different kind of beast altogether. Built as an ultra-limited run of 77 cars, with a price of around $1.5 million. The 177 is a carbon fiber bodied supercar with a top speed of 220 mile per hour. The Dubai police probably wouldn't want to use the 177 for PIT maneuvers. But its blinding speed and menacing looks would come in handy in high speed pursuits. Lamborghini Aventador Few automakers can rival Lamborghini's reputation for building the world's most extreme road cars, and its all-hail drive Aventador is case in point. Powered by a 691 horsepower mid-mounted V12 engine, the Dubai Police Aventador can go from 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds and has a top speed of 217 miles per hour. Even lined up against the others in the Dubai fleet. The Aventador is simply one of the most insane cars ever to serve on the right side of the thin blue line. Nine Ferrari FF Unlike most of the supercars in Dubai's fleet, and most other Ferraris, the FF is a four-seater. It may have a reputation as one most polarizing looking Ferraris built in recent years. But the all-wheel drive V12-powered car is all supercar. 0 to 60 comes in just 3.7 seconds. And its top speed is a blistering 208 miles per hour. BMW i8 The i8 is the newest addition to the Dubai fleet, and since its introduction in 2014, the futuristic BMW has been hailed as the future of supercars. With its mid-mounted three-cylinder engine connected to two electric motors generating 357 horsepower, the i8 goes from 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds. On its way to an electronically limited top speed of 155 miles per hour. Compared to some of Dubai's other supercars. It's nice to see the Dubai police buy a sensible car high from the R8, as 76 miles per gallon should. Help the department cut down on fuel costs. <laughs> 